What's up, girlfriends? Welcome back to the channel. It's Elena. If you're new around here, welcome. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be continuing with my, well, in this video, I'm going to be continuing with my wash day. If you watched my previous video, um, I tried the Camille Rose Chebe, what is that? The black oil, castor oil and Chebe, I still have it over here. <laughs> um, shampoo, check that video out. I'll try to link it up here if I remember. Um, so you guys can see my thoughts on that shampoo and also the video was on whether or not I got heat damage from blowing out my hair this past holiday um, and as you can see curls are popular so no damage <laughs> and we love to see that don't we so anyway I'm continuing on with my wash day and even though there was no damage I was talking about getting back into Ayurveda um, I wanted to do it you know in last year the time got away from me as always but um this year we're going to start it off right okay so this is actually my first wash day of the year today is the 9th january 9th um and so i'm going to be following up my wash my shampoo with the baskin bloom brahmi root hair mask okay heard so many good things about this so many good things about this and I'm super anxious to try this out this is a brand that is um, near and dear to Ayurveda um, they have a lot of good Ayurvedic products they have a lot of good Ayurvedic products in their um, or herbs I should say in their products and so this is one of the one of the fan faves I guess you could say and so I'm here today to try it finally so I'm gonna open it up see what it looks like and it just looks like a cream like a twisting cream really smell it smells like a twisting cream too yeah it kind of put me puts me in the mindset of um, the Irish mosh Irish Moss Styler by Nature's Little Secret, but not as sweet. That has a really, really sweet smell to it. This one is not on the sweet side. Not so much on the sweet side. So anyway, let's see what it feels like. Oh, that's nice and creamy and thick. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's nice and thick. I like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I've already kind of re-wet my hair because y'all know this high porosity head of mine um, dries up fast. The water dries up fast. So we're just gonna go ahead and start applying. I'm gonna just use that on this whole section right here. And then I'm gonna go in and just, you know, section off and apply some more. So I am experiencing a little bit of winter shedding so I'm trying to get that under control. So this is like a really good time for me to start, you know, back with my Ayurvedic products because, um, or my Ayurvedic routine, because that will definitely help with um, the shedding. So, yeah. All right, so that felt nice. That felt nice, it felt smooth. Don't see any product on the hair. So it is going right into my strands, which we all love to see. Um, where's my clip? I'm probably going to section that a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Oh, yes. Very nice. Yeah, that's a better section. Yeah, I've got a little few knots here. Mm. 
not using that conditioner anymore. I think I'll just go ahead and put it in my empties um, bag. Uh, looks like I gotta get my shears out. Alright, so that first section is done, and as you can see, these curls are definitely popping. They have drunk this conditioner right up, okay? No residue. And it feels like moisturizing, like I just feel like the strand, you know, it's plumping up the strands, it's getting into the, it's getting into the strands, and like, I don't know, like there's no residue at all. You know how sometimes you put conditioner on your hair and then, you know, as you start to do like this, smoothing it into your hair, you get like residue that kind of comes out. There's nothing like that. It's all sunk into the hair. All of it sunk in right into the hair. So this is great. Very nice. And I don't feel like I use like too little bit because, you know, the hair is definitely coated. So it's not like I used it sparingly or anything like that, but I'm not really that heavy handed either. Um, I will put some more on the ends here. a little bit shorter in my in its curly state y'all it is because I did give myself a little bit of a trim um this color you know the blonde really does a lot more damage than you think or than I thought so I am very I want to say aggressively <laughs> cutting this out these days so any kind of split ends or knots that I see snip them right off because I'm ready to embrace all of this here so, but yeah, you guys, um, take all that much. This stuff is so creamy. So now that I have those two sections done, I'm going to go off camera, finish these other two sections, and I'll be back when it's all applied. Okay, y'all, so we're all done with the application. I am going to let this sit in my hair for a little while. I do have some errands to run. I have to run out. 
So I'm gonna put a plastic cap on this and then probably put a hat on just so it don't get sick down here in these streets. Because this Georgia weather is acting very, very strange. It's warm one day, cold the next, warm a few days, cold the next. You never know what you're gonna get out here. So definitely gonna be putting a hat on because I ain't trying to get sick. But I wanna show y'all how much I used. This was brand new, by the way. Just opened this. I guess it was on its side for a little while, so that's what that is. It's probably on the side like this, so it kind of moved over as time went on while it was in the closet. But um, yeah, didn't use that much, but definitely used enough for my head. <laughs> um, I want to take a look at the directions to see what it says you need to do here. Apply to freshly washed, damp hair, allow to sit for 15 to 20 minutes using a plastic ha hair cap steamer or hooded dryer rinse and follow up with our ease leave-in we probably won't be doing that today i have something else in mind that i'm going to be using um and i'm definitely going to be protective styling this wash day um just because of the shedding and everything i don't want to do too much manipulating to my hair um so yeah i'm probably just going to do my signature to cornrows going back um just to kind of you know have a low manipulation style so um yeah guys that's it i'm gonna come back once i've rinsed this out and come back from my running my errands so i guess i will see you guys then okay all right y'all so i'm back and just finished rinsing out the deep conditioner and y'all i have to tell y'all I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. My hair feels very soft, okay? It definitely feels soft, moisturized. Um, like this was, I feel like this was a good moisturizing treatment. Because the hair definitely feels like it got a dose of moisture, basically. That's what it feels like. As far as an Ayurvedic treatment, I don't know about that. Um, it doesn't feel, this says deep treatment that includes Ayurvedic herbs to aid in strengthening, moisturizing, and restoring the hair, promotes healthy hair growth. Okay, yeah, the whole moisturizing thing, I guess it feels kind of restored as well, because, but it wasn't, it didn't feel bad to begin with, you know what I mean? Like the products that I use um, to style my hair and stuff made my hair feel very, very silky and soft, so it wasn't real, and then it was moisturized along with the um, styler that I used. Like I had to use the Kinky Tresses as a as a styler and moisturizer. So my hair was already like really soft to begin with. Um, I just feel like, I don't know. I don't really feel the strengthening, strengthening aspect of it. Really, I don't know. It just feels more moisturizing to me, which is still a good thing. I mean, I still feel like there was, it feels like there was a treatment of some sorts. I guess there's a little bit of strength there, but it doesn't feel like how it feels like when I use like my henna silk um, herbs and stuff in a conditioner, like a gloss. It doesn't feel like that. So I don't feel that kind of a strengthened feeling, um, but it does definitely feel moisturized and I guess restored, if you will. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'll have to, this is just a first impression. So I'll have to try it again, you know, um, and see how I feel about it the next go round. Um, I'm always hearing good things about this deep conditioner, but honestly, y'all, I'm not wowed by this. Like, I'm really not wowed by it at all. I guess the more that the water kind of dries out, I'm starting to feel that moisturizing, I mean, the um, strengthening feel that they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it feels a little strengthened too. Um, I don't know, y'all. I'm, I'm not wowed by it though. I'm really not wowed by it. But I will continue to use it. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. It's an Ayurvedic, um, you know, deep conditioner. So I'm definitely gonna continue to use it. Brahmi is one of the, you know, one of the really good um, Ayurvedic herbs. So I will use it. The thing that I that kind of gets me though is that you don't see any of the herbs in here. You know, like with the other um, Ayurveda that I've done, you can actually see the herbs and the Ayurvedic goodness, you know, in the product. This just kind of looks like a regular old conditioner. 
and um yeah i mean it's, it's not that ayurvedic herbs smell bad but like there's a distinct smell to ayurvedic herbs you know what i mean um so maybe that's what's kind of throwing me and why i'm not so loud about it or whatever but um i guess it was still pretty good i guess it was still pretty good i'm a, i have to give it another shot y'all i'm just i don't know i feel like it was a decent conditioner and i left it in for a while like it's been a few hours um you know that i've had it in my hair so like I said, I had to run some errands and I just got back. So I rinsed it out right away. But I'll have to give this one another go. See what my my real thoughts on, on this is. Okay. Because right now I just feel like I'm in the, up in the air with this. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But anyway, y'all, my hair feels good for the most part. It smells good. Yeah, it smells good. Like I said, it feels moisturized and hydrated. I guess that's the restored part of it. Um, yeah, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. I'm not even going to front. So, but yeah, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and um, like put this in a couple of twists or braids or something so that it can dry. And then tomorrow I'll probably just go in and um, like, you know, do my two cornrows or whatever for the week. But in the meantime, I'm going to go. I want to thank y'all for watching this video. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, thank you for, for being here and watching. Um, let me know if you have tried this deep conditioner in the past. Am I missing something here? Let me know what your thoughts are on this DC um, and your experience. If you've ever tried it. Or let me know if you're you know, looking to try it in the, near, in the future. Maybe not the near future, but in the future. Um, yeah, and so I'm just going to leave it here. I will talk to y'all in the next video. I'm sending y'all so much love, peace, and light. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. And definitely hit the like button for your girl on your way out. I'll see you later, guys. Bye. What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me?